So Tony Pedregon will have lane choice over Tim Wilkerson, but trust me, Wilkerson doesn't care. He's just happy to be around for the semifinals. And now here's a good matchup coming up right now as Dean Scusa and Ron Caps will be squaring off. Hey, how about the upset, Steve? A big one. Uh, nobody gets more excited than the man from the land of Lincoln. How about it, huh? Oh, that's spectacular, spectacular. I've seen a lot of casserole out in front of me there. I was a little worried, but my old Pawnee actually hung in there. You know, we got a saying, no Fords in the finals. That's our deal this year. So I'm just trying to be consistent, trying to go down the racetrack for our folks at Sioux City Kenworth. Can't be happy for our performance, but tell everybody at home hello. Thanks. He's going to be the tough Ford in the next round. No doubt about that, as Tony Pedregon is on the horizon. The burnout for Ron Caps, who advanced out of round number one with a win over Bruce Sarver. Ron Caps, career wise, eight wins in 14 final round appearances. And I tell you, this is the first time that uh, he has been sky high. You know, you take a look at what this year has been like. It really is spectacular. As a matter of fact, we talked with Ron just the other day. The fact that now he's working with the snake and Ed the ace McCullough. And he said, quite frankly, Eli, this year has almost been too good to believe. My life is unbelievable. And, uh, you know, it's got to be cliche, 97, oh, I'm living a dream. And honest to God, that's it. I got a beautiful house. I got a great family. And I, I embarrass snakes sometimes because I'll put them aside. And I said, hey, I just want to, I, I just have to tell you that I want to thank you for, for everything. And he goes, oh, shucks. You know, and he gets kind of embarrassed. And I said, geez, you know, I'm getting paid good money to drive a race car. I get to wake up in the morning, show up, have Ed McCullough teach me how to drive, Don Prudhomme teach me how to drive, the best crew and best sponsors in the business. And uh, I get paid to do it. And uh, I, 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 I mean, swear to you that every day I wake up, I can't believe it. Caps against Scusa to advance to the semis. Grace, but smoke comes out of the header pipe for Ron Caps. The win goes to the king of the burnouts, Dean Scusa, a 505 at 294 miles an hour. Here's a guy who has a journalism degree from Ohio University, and I believe he's about to write a heck of a story here today. Well, that maybe helped Scusa with some of those great interviews. But you can see here from inside the funny car, you can see the parachute handles flopping to the left there, or off to the right of the screen. He reaches up, puts the shoots out. Driving these cars is one of the most exciting things on the planet anybody could do. So we've got our matchups all set now with Tony Pedregon against Tim Wilkerson. Epler and Scusa. That's going to be a good matchup coming up later as we continue from Lost Wages. Back here in Las Vegas. How about 7,000 horsepower coming at you? 40 times that of your average streetcar. Zero to 108 tenths of a second. That's the ride that Batman's going to have. Joe Amato. And across the lane from him, the MBNA colors for Corey McLennathan, currently ninth in points. I'll tell you, this is a wild ride, Top Fuel. Well, they're the fastest accelerating vehicles on the planet Earth, and uh, I would accelerate the space shuttle by almost twice. They will pull these drivers' will 5Gs when they launch, and I guess conversely a negative 5Gs when they uh, deploy the chutes. Actually, they stop even harder than when they accelerate, so it's quite a ride down the track, but uh, in order to get a fast ride, the crew chiefs here are going to have to have made some adjustments after the last round of competition, Eli, because we remember both these cars had some traction problems. And that's one thing we've been seeing throughout all of the competition, even when the Federal Mogul teams have been out there. Some of the alcohol-burning machines have had trouble getting a hold of the racetrack now. I just stepped outside during one of the commercial breaks just to get a feel myself. It's well over 90 degrees now. It's gotten quite hot. Yeah, and that, that makes the track slippery, and you know the black asphalt down there can get well over 100 degrees. Amato said earlier it was about 125. That's going to cause poor traction. And that's what they have to be able to compensate for. Wes Cerny says, Corey Mack, you're all set. Jimmy Proc tells the same to Joe Amato, the crew chiefs. Let's see who advances to the first ever finals here in Las Vegas. Good launch for everybody. Good drag race. Give the win to Joe Amato. 
476 to a 74 for Corey Mack. 476 at 298 miles an hour. This is the closest drag race we've seen in the entire event. In fact, the margin of victory was just one one thousandth of a second as they took off from the starting line. Amato got the jump by a lot, about a couple hundredths of a second. At 330 feet down the raceway, they were almost at a dead heat. This is one of the races where the drivers are not even going to be able to tell who won the drag race. The crew chiefs did an excellent job. They got the cars performing well, a good side-by-side -side race, but this is one that needs that copulink electronic eye to actually pick out a winner. So Joe Amato, who had lost in the second round at Phoenix and Gainesville, has now advanced to the finals here in Las Vegas. Hey, are you a golfer, Frank? Uh, no, I did a little bit when I was a kid, but not for a long time. Well, I'll tell you about a great golf combination that's out there. Talking the other day to Kenny Bernstein. He gets out there, goes golfing with Gary Selzy and Joe Amato. He'll tell us about it behind the wheel. <laughs> you know, Gary Selzy and Amato and I are good friends, and we play a lot of golf together. And I'll tell you, when we get out there being very competitive with each other, it's a lot of fun. It all depends on what kind of day it is, whether it's a happy day or a bad day. But uh, we bet a lot of money. And it usually goes like this. Selzy usually pays me, and I usually pay a motto. That's the way it usually works. But we're very competitive, and it's a lot of fun. It's just, it's wonderful to do it. Kenny Bernstein, the Bud King. Meanwhile, as he awaits the command to launch that candle, let's go to Steve Evans. What's all about Joe Amato? One thousandth of a second difference. How fun was that? Oh, that was great. You know, I could feel him over there, and you know, after the finish line, he went by me. I didn't know if he was there or not because my helmet has blinders on it. But uh, you know, for Tenneco Automotive and Dynamax and Valvoline Keystone Key Park, this is what it's all about. So, driver has to earn his pay out here. And I told my wife, coming into this race, I'm going to have to try and drive the wheels off because these kids are pressing, and we're having some fun out here now. Oh boy, what a final round it could be. Doesn't matter who he races. I wonder what the real truth is on who's up on that golf game. I guess we'll uh, follow that storyline. Yeah, well, we might have to find out from each driver. You think, think there's any chance the story might change from driver to driver? You mean you guys don't always tell uh, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? So help me God, I do? We try to. Uh-huh, so you do. Kenny Bernstein, the number one qualifier here this weekend at Top Fuel. has drawn a tough assignment, Big Red, Gary Selzy. This is going to be interesting because Selzy, as we said earlier in the show, began in spring training as that whole team probably is best prepared as anybody was showing up in off-season testing. And they've just carried it now. Got the win at Pomona and number two in points. Uh, they're ready. They're, they're loaded. And they've got an opportunity now to move over that right side of the racetrack. Yeah. It's really difficult to tell why one lane will end up developing better traction than the other. Sometimes it can be just a perception where you get the better cars running on one side and they automatically perform better. But Selzy right now has got to feel good that he got lane choice and got to move to the right side of the track. Although for what it's worth, watching some of the Federal Mogul runs a while ago, they were having a lot of trouble on the right side. Yeah, it depends on the category. Sometimes, uh, historically, it's always been strange that the fuel cars always like the opposite lane that the pro stock cars do. So uh, it it's, depends a lot on the setup of the car, the type of vehicle that's being raced. But uh, right now, selzy has got to feel like he's in a pretty good position. Is, you've known Bernstein for years. Is he pressing at this point pre because... Pre pre Bernstein's a pressing person, person in, when Tuesday he gets up afternoon. In <laughs> But uh, can you overdo it? Can you over it here? Let's see if they have. Another great drag race. And give the win to Kenny Bernstein. He's going to the finals over Selzy. A 471 to a 472. It'll be 27 one hundredths of a second, the margin at the finish. Well, you were asking if he's a pressing guy, and he pressed Selzy on the starting line there. A 470 to a 5 0 reaction time, three hundredths of a second. They also ran a hundredth of a second better at the finish line. So uh, a very good run. And, and Kenny's the kind of guy that's aggressive. It's like a motto, talking about these young guys coming out and getting uh -huh. this. These guys have been around a long time. They're veterans. They're not going to make the mistakes. Enjoy the ride. It's over that quickly in four and seven tenths of a second. So Kenny Bernstein and Joe Amato. Who's going to yell four when that one gets set to go? Oh, a couple of golfing buddies, a couple of vacation buddies. They've spent a lot of time together with families away from the track. They're going head-to-head -head as we head towards the finals later in our coverage. <laughs>